Hey you guys. Welcome back to the channel. Big thank you to all of the new subscribers. And for anybody who doesn't know, my name is Bruce Van Life Jr. And I live in this Chevy Express 2500 that I bought for $1,000. And yes, buying a van that cheap comes with a lot of surprise repairs and maintenance. But with some elbow grease and never giving up, this vehicle is where I call home. And along this journey of living full time in a van in Canada, and surviving some absolutely brutal winters. We make some pretty amazing friends and memories along the way. Wouldn't have been able to survive without y'all. <laughs> so come join the adventures as I bring you all along for a ride through my life. From all the good times to all the bad times and every adventure in between. On this journey, you never know what could happen next. So let's get to it. Hello everyone, and welcome back to the channel. As you all know, I really enjoy meeting new people, and with the warm weather coming on, regardless of all the fire smoke, it seems to be bringing out the best in people, because it seems that everywhere I go, I find someone to spark a conversation with. It's really hard to capture every one of those moments, but today I managed to capture one of those genuine moments with someone who asked just a simple question as they were walking past my van. And that simple question was, Hey, do you have a bed in the back of that thing? And I simply said, Not only do I have a bed, I've got the whole house. Yeah, Look at you. Oven, stove, fridge. Oh, Some wow, shit's that's water. water. That's smart. Yeah. I got a 20 pound propane tank back here feeding this guy. Are you doing this all by yourself? Yeah, yeah. Bro, you're actually smart, eh? And the carpet too? Yeah, it's smart. a rubberized carpet too, so it keeps the water and shit out. Wow. Yeah, and all used materials. Nothing was like brand new. Uh -huh. right? Are you, you're handy then, eh? Can I step in? Yeah, yeah. Thanks. I got all storage and shit under here. I got Bro, two. that's what my next question was. I'm like, where do you store everything? Yeah, yeah, I got it on top of the bed. That is so and cool. And I got all, all in the back of the bed. Like, this flips up for a couch for the back door. Uh huh. And then the back flips up for a couch in here. And I got all my tools in the back. And I got, Buddy, like, I got this like, is impressive. This is nice. Queen size bed. It's bigger than mine. No, I didn't have this in an apartment, <laughs> this right? This is cool, man. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah, I got a little, this is where I do my editing and stuff, right? I just what is that? The, uh, uh, just magnet, for a, eh? That's yeah. smart. Just for a little laptop. Yeah, 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 yeah. Pull this out. Have dinner, supper, whatever. You are good to go, eh? <laughs> yeah. And how much is a full tank on gas on this guy? Oh, this thing is ridiculous. It's a pig. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I went from Kelowna to Calgary uh, during the winter there. It cost me 150 bucks from here to Kelowna. Oh wow! So yeah, yeah. yeah I but it's, it's a big van and it's got the small engine. Yeah, yeah. So it works on those mountains, right? Yeah. 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 But across Canada, like it wasn't too bad, especially with the flat lens. Yeah, stuff. yeah, yeah. Yeah. Did yeah, you get problems with the police or anything? Not really. I just kind of watch where I park for the most part. Okay, yeah, if you feel like it's a weird spot, oh, yeah. yeah. But I mean, most of the few spots it doesn't say no. It's pretty warm with the time, right? Yeah, well, uh, I have a diesel heater in. Oh, you got the lights too. You're pretty cool, man. <laughs> this is nice. <laughs> I got a diesel heater in for heat. Oh, wow. And uh, it'll keep it like plus 30 in here with the big You're heater. For real, right? eh? Yeah, yeah. That's fair. But when the heater gives out, buddy, you need that stove. You need that stove. <laughs> right? Yeah, yeah. Okay, and how about summertime? You crack the window open? Yeah, just, leave, just, just crack the window open. I've been meaning to get like a roof vent and stuff, mm -hmm. but. Yeah. My name is Abu, by the way. Bruce. Bruce, pleasure, bro. Nice to meet you. Wow, that's actually cool. I didn't even think. I just, I just wanted to ask randomly. Like, yeah. You have something back there? Eh? You actually do. We have it all set up, man. Yeah. And you did it all by yourself? Yeah. Just take your time and yeah, you can yeah. do it too. That's pretty cool. Yeah. Nice, nice. I'm from Ontario originally. Nice. Yeah, yeah. I've been here about seven years now. Shit. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Like him over here? It's not bad, bro. Yeah. 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 Just working, bro. Honestly, nothing special. Yeah. But I really like this. So I've been watching a lot of YouTube videos with my girlfriend. Dude, with the same and I was money. impressed, man. I've been in it anything from a, I had a 26 foot RV. I built a tiny house on a 30 foot trailer. I've been lifting cars for a while. And how did you think of this idea? I just noticed it. It's pretty cool. Dude, that, honestly, I'm a bad carpenter. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not even going to lie. I'm a bad carpenter. I measured it all out, dude. And when I finally built it, like this was out like this. And yeah, I was like, ah. Yeah. Oh. So I pushed it in and then I had to cut the hole in the door. And I was like, you know what? I can actually see the water. So Bro, it worked. That's good. Man. <laughs> it works for you, ain't not it? Yeah. It's yeah. Fucking cool, man. Wow, bro. Don't want to take too much of your time, but this is impressive, bro. I'm really <laughs> impressed. Thank you, man. Watch your videos, give you some likes, some comments. 
appreciate that, man. You your job, bro. This yeah, is dude. a great set, bro. You ever see me around again? Sure. I'll stop by yeah, for yeah, sure, right? For sure, bro. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, for sure. I hope you all enjoyed that genuine little moment of my day. Living in a city and living in a van exposes me to a lot of people, which I have absolutely no problem with, as I have nothing to hide. If you ever see me in public, just know that you can shoot me a smile and a wave, and if I'm not on the phone or busy at the moment, I'll gladly sit and have a conversation with you and talk about van life, hot rods, or just life in general. I enjoy having these genuine moments with people, and I love that YouTube grants me the opportunity to meet such a range of people all over the world, and I look forward to continue meeting many more people to come. Have a great Friday, everybody, and remember, never give up on living life, because life is the most precious thing we have. I'll see you all in the next one. Love zone.